What's up everybody, Billy from Typical Reviews here and today I have some exciting news for you WhatsApp users out there. So WhatsApp has just introduced a desktop client for both Windows and Mac. It was announced yesterday on May the 10th of 2016 on the WhatsApp blog. Windows 10 and up and Mac OS 10.9 and up are available, but sorry Windows 7 users, this seems like it's the trend now that you're not being supported anymore. Back in February 1st of 2016, WhatsApp announced that they have over 1 billion users on their messaging platform, so that's across their Android and their iOS users. Most famously though, WhatsApp was bought by Facebook back in February of 2014 for 19 billion dollars. So not only do they have a billion users, they were bought for a billion dollars, it just seems like WhatsApp is in the business of billions. So why is this important? Well, you no longer have to have a phone with you if you're using WhatsApp as your primary messaging application, as long as you're on your desktop computer, either your Mac or your Windows. And it's really, really awesome to be able to actually use your keyboard to type faster to your friends and family, and of course, more accurately as well. Setup for WhatsApp on desktop is an absolute breeze. When you start up the desktop application, it will prompt you to scan a QR code that's on your phone in order to log into the same account. But what can you do on it? Besides sending messages as the basic functionality, it essentially works identically to the smartphone counterpart. You can send and receive attachments, record voice messages, and even delve into your message history. So what does this mean for us? It's essentially a dedicated version of WhatsApp web, and that's the version that was accessible from the internet if you logged into it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It simplifies it by being directly on your desktop instead of having to actually go into the internet and finding it. As long as your computer's connected to the internet, you have the application downloaded and installed, you're good to go. In my opinion though, I've been using Telegram for a while and do prefer it since they've already actually had a desktop messaging version of their client for a while now, but I can't be denied that WhatsApp is definitely the more popular messaging app because of its 1 billion user base, and I'm sure you also have a lot more friends on WhatsApp compared to Telegram. And there you have it, WhatsApp users. For anyone using Windows 8 and up and Mac OS 10.9 and up, you can download it right now. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below, so be sure to check it out if you are a WhatsApp user and just start enjoying it using it on your computer. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.